Green Building Store has just completed a design and build project to create a new build home in Golka, West Yorkshire. It's cavity wall construction and built to the passive house standard. However, the project didn't actually start out as a passive house. I was looking for a company that did uh, double glazing um, and that's when I came across the Green Building Store. I met Chris who explained in fact, the company did a lot more than just do double glazing. Um, they did something called Passive House, which was new to me. There didn't appear to be any need for any extra fancy heating systems like geothermal. We haven't had to have any underfloor heating. The whole process is served just by a very small boiler. In explaining the way that a Passive House is built, a light came on and I realised that that was how I wanted the house to be built. Fortunately, we were able to tweak the form and orientation of the original house design relatively easily and make it perform to Passive House standard. The building follows much of the detailing of our original cavity wall Passive House at Denby Dale, but with a few evolutions and developments. One of the improvements that we feel we've made here at Golka over the Denby Dale house is the way that we've used the roof to house living space. At Denby Dale, we had a simple and quite a cheap uh, solution um, where insulation is just above the flat ceiling in the, in the bedrooms um, on the first floor and the loft above it is basically cold. Here we have what's called a cathedral or warm roof structure where the insulation is actually within the roof structure itself. Another major difference here at Golker over the Denby Dale house is how we've dealt with the external door thresholds. Where we still have to have structural stability for foot traffic, uh, but we need a thermal break as well. Um, we cannot continue the concrete slab through because that's an awful cold bridge to the outside world. So. What's been developed in this time is this material, it's called compact foam. It's heat treated polystyrene. It still has the insulation value of polystyrene, uh, but it's extremely structurally sound. In fact, we can treat it like wood. We can machine it and bolt it and screw it and saw it. So we've cast this in to the edge of the slab, the concrete slab, um, when we were building the substructure. Here we are in the plant room at Golka. Um, we've simplified matters compared with Denby Dale by separating the MVHR, the ventilation system, from our gas central heating system. Um, we have also got over the problem of a small volume of water in the central heating system at Denby Dale by adding a large buffer tank which is also heated by solar thermal. One area of improvement I feel that we've made at Golka is with the positioning of the windows with this neat cavity closer, um, which goes very well with the progression windows that we've piloted on this project. I think that from Many people, the, the dream of um, helping to build their own house and being involved with it is, is, is a very real one. And for me, it was exactly that. Um, right from the word go, I wanted to be involved. The detail, the care and attention that all of the team made um, was just terrific. Golka is our third Passive House project, following on from Denby Dale and Stirley Farm. The air tightness was 0.24 air changes at 50 pascals, which of course is almost three times as good as we need to for certification. This is down to our building team, actually. What I have realised is that I'm putting less and less time in on site with these projects as it gets under the skin of the building team. And there is no reason why the rest of the construction industry can't follow their lead. The house is 
is solid, it's quiet, it's comfortable throughout, there aren't little pockets of cold anywhere. And that with a, with a lovely environment of, of clean air coming in, it just is a wonderful place to live. I, I, I would not live anywhere else having lived in this house for only six months now.